Hi guys, this is Ashir Abbas from After Sales Support. Welcome to Keynote Training Series courses for our partners. In this episode, I would like to give you a complete mapping guide for our laser type robots. In order to give you a better understanding, we're going to use our mapping tool, Robot Installation Assistance 3.2.10. This presentation or this episode will be divided into several parts. The first part is the preparation part. The preparation part includes stable Wi-Fi internet connection for our robot or you won't be able to save the map even though you have completed the whole scanning process. The second is to check the software version of food delivery application and robot installation assistant and some system needfuls before we start doing the mapping. The first step is to check the Wi-Fi connection and connect it with the stable Wi-Fi. Please. Secondly, we can enter the peanut food delivery application. Uh, you can enter the super setting with the password of 870051. After entering the super setting, you enter the resource option and delete the old resource bundle because we are going to scan a new site and save a new resource bundle. So we have to delete the old already present resource bundle. Then you have to you can press the systems uncheck or deactivate these three options for smooth configuration and mapping process then enter the data center select the correct data center if you are in Europe please select Europe if you are in other regions please select other regions after selection the, the, the application will restart and after restarting you have to come back again inside the application and check the DC connection status it should be connected and the last check is to check the software version which you can check from uh, about software version and you will check this after checking these three options just click on this zero this is a minimize button do not exit the application just minimize while we are doing the mapping process by uh, via robot installation assistant mapping tool the application must be running at the background click on this and we will go back after entering the robot installation assistant mapping tool you can check this is the main interface of our Keynon robot installation assistant these are some steps there is a language options these are some settings exit and the most important these things the battery should be more than 30 percent make sure the application is updated if it is not it will show you the red sign and the network should be wi-fi or stable 4g uh, 4g is not available in overseas so we have to use a stable wi-fi these are some special tips before we start doing the mapping for example like uh, the positioning the positioning process depend on the mapping feature the more the feature the more uh, good map and location of the robot will be the scanning speed should of the robot shouldn't be very fast or it shouldn't be very slow the robot should uh, scan every corner every pillar please read this thoroughly in order to make uh, in order to understand the complete scanning process now before we start doing the map we have to do the factory reset how can we do that please enter the settings click on the machine information scroll down and click on factory reset then go to data center and select the correct data center you have to match the data center with the application so they will be on the same cloud all right let's start doing the mapping this part includes scanning sites setting target points advanced setting grouping saving map etc and in this process we will do a scheduling between two robots also so we are going to uh, do the configuration according to the scheduling process i will tell you everything in future slides the first step is after you check everything click on start mapping you can click on this briefcase there will be two options two sorry two control bar one on the left one on the right left will be a uh, left you will see a real time lidar stereoscopic on the right side you will see some uh, customization of mapping anyway you can uh, click on this click on the real time lidar and start doing the map scanning the map i mean 
after you complete the whole map please click on complete map to save the map if there is a charging pile the next step will be adding a charging pile but in my case there was not charging pile so i didn't add it but if in your case there is a charging pile please add the charging pile accordingly after scanning uh, after after you have completed the scanning usually the labels which is already pasted on the ceiling is already added but if you want to add more labels you can long press on continue to scan and you will see these two options sweep laser only sweep the labels only if you want to add more labels you can click on sweep laser label only and then it will automatically add these labels but usually when we are scanning through uh, um, application this mapping tool application 3 to 10 it automatically added the labels like this now this the second step the first step was to charging piles destination point origin po origin point now in order to add origin point we bring we push our robot on the origin point and click add origin point now if you want to add more origin point you can click here continue to add more origin point so you can have two origin point i told you in this configuration we are going to have two robot scheduling process later okay so but if you have only one robot you don't need multiple origin points after adding origin point you can click next the next step is to add destination point this you can add as many as you can destination point but make sure the destination points are not too near to the wall or to each other uh, and it shouldn't be touching the wall closely or just make sure the destination points are clear after complete destination point you can click on finish now there here is an advanced setting i will introduce some basic some basic uh, settings which we can use for example the first one is restriction line setting this is actually a border lining you have to enter this after you uh, completed scanning so it will create an automatic border line just like this you can click on rebuild to make it again and uh, if you click on the tools you will see on the right side there will be a manual customization control box or toolbox you can click on this you can draw a manual restriction line here here or here whatever you require and after building it you have to press save so it will save the restriction line the second one is speed limit settings the speed limit settings we customer uses when a customer don't want robot to go faster or slower than its usual speed through a specific area so we click on it we again we have this kind of option we draw an option like this like we draw from our finger like this and select the uh, the walking speed fast medium moderate etc and then again save it so these two options are quite useful the third option is scheduling path this option is important when we are doing a multiple machine setting like when we are we are having more than one robot the machine here means a robot so you can enter this you can just click on auto generate and it will automatically generate it just like this and don't forget to save after you auto generate it right so now now as I told you we will do a scheduling between two robots so we should enter the multiple machine setting we already had a robot A which we were using now we added robot B the, the most important thing about robot B is that the software version of the application and the robot installation assistant must be exactly same after checking the robot installation assistant we will come back to robot a and then we enter the multiple machine setting after you enter the multiple machine setting there is a button named obtain robot of the store 
you click on it you will get all the robot hairs which is already added inside your store and if there are other robots you can just delete it from there or you can if you want this to be like if there is only two robots like robot a and robot b you can keep it like this after you should click you there is a button called uh, there is a setting called queue settings you can enter inside the queue setting you can click on this add and remember we have already set two origin points you can add these two origin points then you can click on the mesh channel the the higher the number the better after doing this configuration click on save now if you want to add second charging pile so remember in the first one we don't have a charging pile but you have a charging pile in the second one you can click on this click on the charging pile to add the second charging pile and after you click the you will uh, the robot will take you to direct you to uh, a scanning page there you can move your robot a to the charging position to set the charging pile for robot b after you set it you will see the add it like this option so now there are two charging pile already added the first one a and the second one here the then the, the in advanced setting then there is a setting called root setting this options we are using for the snack mode of application you can auto generate the root or you can manually generate the root by clicking new root enter the name uh, select the destination point save and then save after doing all this thing you have to check map check to check if, if everything is correct in the target point availability and the scheduling configuration and then you can click on i know The next step is grouping. This is customer is using this option. This is actually optional. You don't have to use it, but if you have more destination point and you want to uh, divide the destination points, the sections between two areas of the of the map, then you can add group one, group two. You can add specific destination point in group one and there's other specific destination point in group two. After you create a group click on add to group and this is save map now the robot B is also connected with the stable Wi-Fi and the RIA to mapping tool is turned on and robot from robot A when you click on save map you will see the saving process like this it automatically show you both production numbers the serial number of the both robot after configuration is successful it will restart the ROS and then you can go to food delivery application the most and then you can go in, the, uh, in robot a you can enter the simple setting scene settings and pick the origin point for each robot for example for robot a I chose origin point one and for robot B I chose origin point two so it won't be confused when robot is coming back to the origin point after finishing the task that's it you can enter uh, you can start using it and then one more feature if if you want to add one more map from uh, your robot you can go back to robot installation assistance there is an option named new map on map management you can click on new map enter a new map this was the old map and this is the new map you can see from here it's in use if you want to switch back to the old map you can click on this and that's how it works i hope you understand what i told you thanks for watching bye